Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to introduce combinational logic circuit. Combinational logic circuit is very important in the subject called switching theory and logic design. So there are, when you are drawing a logic circuit, there are two types of logic circuits in general we have. One is combinational logic circuit, another one is sequential logic circuit. So logic circuits, what do you mean by logic circuit? Logic circuit is nothing but it is a circuit made up of logic gates. A circuit made up of logic gates logic gates so logic gate means and gate or or gate not gate nand gate nor gate xor gate and x nor gate okay so if you are designing any logic circuit if you are designing any circuit with any of these gates then we call that particular circuit as logic gate so logic circuit so logic circuit may be of two types one is a combinational logic circuit combinational logic circuit and second one sequential logic circuit sequential logic circuit so what is the difference between combinational logic circuit and sequential logic circuit Combinational logic circuit is the one which depends on present inputs only. Combinational logic circuit means which depends on present inputs only. Depends on depends on present inputs only. Present inputs only. Okay, don't confuse. Combination, it is a circuit which depends on present combination of inputs whereas sequential circuit is the one which depends on which depends on present inputs as well as past outputs present inputs and as well as past outputs okay that means when you are saying the word past outputs we need a memory element to store the past output. Okay, that's why it needs memory element. It needs memory element. It needs memory element to store the past output. Okay, so combination logic circuit does not need any memory element. It does not consist of any memory element because it presents it depends on the present inputs only whereas sequential logic sequence sequence it is a sequence present inputs as well as past outputs so past outputs to be stored in the memory elements okay so now in this particular video i am going to uh, tell you about a combinational circuit like half header okay so i will write the complete definition here so combinational logic circuit so it is a logic circuit that depends on present inputs only it is a logic circuit that depends on present inputs only. Combinational circuit. It is having n number of inputs and it is having m number of outputs. So n inputs and it is having m outputs. Okay number of inputs is not equal to number of outputs number of inputs is not equal to number of outputs suppose for example example for this combination logic circuits are and gate or gate nand gate nor gate all the logic gates all the logic gates which does not have any memory 
whereas if you are using something like flip flops latches ram rom then they can call as sequential logic circuits okay and another examples for this one if you go much higher level there are off adders full adders comparators multiplexers demultiplexers all those are examples of this combination logic circuit so let me uh, explain what do you mean by an adder the adder so what is an adder adder is an element adder is a circuit which is used to add two binary bits used to add two bits of information two bits of information you you are having zero plus zero when you add zero plus zero it gives zero zero plus one also sorry zero plus one one zero plus one one and one plus zero gives one but when you are adding one and one so the binary addition one and one will give you sum zero carry one sum zero carry one okay so this concept is going to be explained in half adder concept half adder there are two types of adders we have half adder and full adder so adders are classified into two types half adder another one is full adder what is the difference between half adder and full adder half adder is used to add two bits of information like this whereas full adder is used to add three bits of information that is the difference okay so half adder is used to half adder can add only two bits of information it cannot add more than that if you want to add 3 bits of information then we should go for the full adder it cannot add 4 bits of information okay if you want to add 4 bits of information you need to use half adder followed by another half adder or sorry full adder followed by another full adder or half adder okay so half adder is it is an adder that can add, that can add two bits of information like what i said in the earlier normal adder information so here let us consider the truth table of half adder truth table of half adder truth table is ab two bits of information ab it will give you carry and sum carry and sum carry is represented as c and sum is represented as s zero zero so two bits of information this is first information bit and this is second information bit as there are two bits we have four combinations so 0001111011 so when you are adding 00 sum is 0 carry is 0 Zero one sum is one carry zero one zero sum is one carry zero, but when you are adding one one sum is zero carry is one. This is the difference in the last case. Okay, this is the truth table of the half adder. This is the truth table of half adder. So if you see this entire table. these two corresponds to the inputs and these two corresponds to the output okay if you want you can also in the table okay now i want to write the expression for carry and sum how to write the expression for carry and sum one thing is you can directly write by seeing these expression suppose sum is 1 in two cases where 
a and b are 0 1 and 1 0 so you can write a bar b plus a b bar and carry is 1 in one case only okay uh, very simple method when you are having the uh, lower values expression for sum s is equal to c in these two cases we have ones where a is 0 b is 1 that is one case plus in another case also we have 1 that is 1 0 a equal to 1 and b equal to 0 so that's why it is a bar b plus a b bar this is the expression for sum and similarly carry c is equal to carry c is equal to c is 1 in this particular case only so that's why a and b are ones a b this is the simple way okay this is simple way by seeing the table we can write the expression but we can also use kmap and simplify this as it is only a four uh, values four uh, values are there we can directly write using by seeing just the tabular form but if you are having more than four like if you are going for the full adder then we cannot write like this then we have to go for the simplification method like kmap let us do the same using kmap using kmap let us write the expression for sum for sum yes so how many variables are there two variables are there so take a two variable kmap which is a square a and b this is 0 1 0 1 so here 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 we cannot map these two as a prime implicant so no prime implicants are there these two are individual elements so sum is equal to the expression for this one is for this one is a bar b plus here it is a b bar and coming to carry for carry c consider the same square table a b 0 1 0 1 here 1 is there in the a equal to 1 and b equal to place so a equal to 1 b equal to 1 place means this one remaining all are zeros this is a b so carry is equal to a b in this way also we can simplify okay this is about half header how to draw the circuit so the logic circuit logic circuit for half header half header is simply represented as ha so logic circuit for half header inputs are a b outputs are sum and carry so for the generation of sum a bar b plus a b bar which is nothing but a two input xr gate and here it is and gate so we need one and gate and one xr gate for creating half header so this is xr gate and one and gate if you see the inputs inputs are common a this is b a here b here and this is sum and this is carry okay this is about half header this is about half header a combination logic circuit half header this is the half header block okay so half header consists of if anybody ask you half header what half header consists of is half header consists of one XR gate and one AND gate one XR gate and one AND gate both are two inputs thank you